Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and today Jason built me this garden. It is a standing garden and I am so excited about it because I want to start growing my own vegetables and herbs. So to get started, you are going to need six one by six by fours. I have left the price for you guys so you know how much everything cost. It's three one by four by fours, which was $9.51. You are also going to need four four by four by threes. You're gonna to have to cut that down. It is $13.14. And then I also got for the inside some of this weed control film. That was $6.80, but you're not going to need very much so technically it's not eight dollars and i mean six dollars and four eighty cents <laughs> and then you're also going to need this hard wire cloth it is not cloth at all it is like a little gate that you're going to need to put at the bottom you will understand this once we get started and then you are also going to need some screws. We didn't have any, but if you have some, this will save you $8.97. You're also going to need some soil. This was $16.94 because these were the really big bags. I also got some seeds, and then I went ahead and picked up some plants that were already done because I am a very impatient person and this cost me around $20. So total $108.28. Now let's go ahead and get building. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take those four by fours and cut them down to three feet. We did end up having three of these left over from our deck. So we went ahead and used those because they were perfectly fine and cut them to three feet. So four by four by threes. Now you are going to take the one by six by four and you are going to screw it into one of your four by four by threes. <laughs> I hope that makes sense to you. But Jason just clamped it together, made sure everything was completely straight and then screwed them in. Now that the first pole is done, you're going to go ahead and take your 4x4x3 four by four by and connect it to the other side. Now once the first board has been attached, you're gonna go ahead and attach the second board on the bottom of the first board. Now you are gonna repeat the same exact steps so you have the same two boards on the four by four by threes. Now you are going to take the two remaining one by six by fours. You're going to measure two feet down. You're going to mark it and go ahead and split those in half. Okay, now you're going to take those two foot boards and you're going to add them to one side and then you're going to connect it to the other side. Go ahead and screw the first board in and then you're going to take the second board and add it to the bottom of that one. I hope I am explaining this well. If not, I will leave everything down in the link below. I got this on Pinterest, so I will leave whatever I found on Pinterest down below.
Okay, does it look like it's making more sense now? Now we are going to go ahead and flip it over and do the second side. Okay, now for the baby boards. These are one by four by fours. You're going to split them directly in half. So you need two feet on each side. Now, go ahead and do the rest of them. You should end up with six boards, but we only needed five. So go ahead and kind of space them out to where you have all five lined up. And then Jason's going to screw these in, but when he was, it ended up splitting the board. So he's gonna go ahead and drill little holes in first, and then he will put the screw in. time to flip this bad boy over and we're gonna go ahead and start putting in the little fencing thing that I was talking about and how you're going to do that is you're just going to first roll it out Now we bought these wire cutters to make the job a little bit easier. So if you guys have some, don't buy them. We did buy those and they are around $10, but I did not add that to the price. But it makes it so much easier just to go ahead and cut through the wiring like we have. And make sure you keep a couple of inches on the outside of them because you're going to need those few inches for the bottom. And then you are gonna go ahead and cut all four of the corners. Once everything is cut, you're gonna go ahead and smash that down into all of the corners and the areas that you need. Be very careful because this will cut you. So what Jason did was just took another board and kind of pushed it all down with that instead of hurting his hand. Take a staple gun and go ahead and staple as much as you can so that way it stays down. Now it's time for the black film we went ahead and measured it cut it and just pushed it down into there I wanted to go ahead and do two layers just so that way there was extra protection now just a warning this is very heavy so be very careful we went ahead and stuck it over here by the water so that way we would have easy access to the water and we could water our plants and now we're gonna go ahead and dump the soil Okay, so I think we have it lined up on how we wanna do it. We wanna put the two tomato in the back because I think they're gonna grow a little bit more. Put the basil here in this area, parsley over in this area, mint here, and then all green beans on this side. Okay, what you think, Self? Yes. I think that's a good idea? Okay, so let's get digging.
I just love how it turned out. He did such a fantastic job. I am so excited for these things to grow, but I have mint leaf in my garden, so I decided to go ahead and open up my Mother's Day tea by Sips by Tea. If you guys have never heard of this, this is a subscription box not sponsored at all but they do send this to me every month and i love getting these new teas they have all kinds of flavors each and every month it's a different flavor and if you guys are not following me on instagram i showed you my favorite tea i just went ahead and put some tea in cooked it up and then i ran out to my garden and sophia and i picked some mint leaves so i had mint tea that night it was so delicious and so good so if you guys want to check this out go to my link down below. You can click on Sips Buy link and you will get money off your first order. So make sure you guys use that code for money off. And that is it. I made my yummy tea, had it, it so delicious, so good. I love it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. And let me know, obviously you can't do it down below, but let me know what you guys have in your garden. Bye guys.